Hello there and welcome to the afternoon edition of Tea Time. I'm Tekumpo Tawaiwe and here with me are my co-anchors Lakwe Banjo and Ife Oshinkeye. Hi guys. Hello. Good afternoon Tekumpo. The first story on this edition of the program is on Jamie Foxx. The actor has been accused of a penis slapping incident that took place 16 years ago. <laughs> Juicy, spicy, oh. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's never ending, isn't it? I'm like, yeah. everyone just keeps coming. But, but you know what? We have to give it up for this women. Like I said, no woman deserves to be treated badly. No woman deserves to be disrespected. No matter how long it takes, I think they still have to bear the consequences. So, me too. I'm with you, women. Mm -hmm. But let's even talk about this incident a bit. Well, before we talk about the incident properly, <laughs> Lakwe, reaction, please. Well, the first thing that came to my mind is how big was it? But he was like, <laughs> <laughs> Good Boys. heavens! This no, is a family him, show, guys. No, but for him to be able to, to slap, whip it out, whip it out slap. and slap her face, like, <laughs> like, it's such a weird allegation. Like, wow. No, but you from what I understand, the <laughs> God. God. What do you think? I thought you were even talking about shoe size. Of course, you are a liar. <laughs> I think, from what I understand, though, I think they were already getting close to. Um, she was already getting close to doing that. I, well, from what she She's doing what? Do, yeah. Well, I mean, if they were found, and then because school, she's said no, he now did that. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but what she said was, it was for, he wanted her to give him oral sex, right? Yes. And she was already close to doing it. Yes. That was the only reason why he could whip it out and slap her. Which is yeah, why and it's her because she so said no. This is yeah. why I'm finding this story very difficult to believe. What was your head doing so close to no, that? No, no, no. It was a party. But then, but then this is was the it? issue with the whole consent thing, right? Yeah. So even if she's, um, you know, that that, even if yeah. she's that close and she still says no. No. Oh, no, okay. no. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. So, like, that's, that's what she's mm -hmm. using okay. as her, like, yeah. me too kind of mm -hmm. thing, her ad story, because... So it's taking me too for her to come out to say this. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, I mean, I think the I think the thing with the Me Too movement is let's not undermine it here, right? Yeah, okay, it mm -hmm. is getting a bit out of hand in some cases, but yeah. I think generally the reason why a lot more women come out and say it is because back then it was probably something that was accepted and you didn't really speak about, mm -hmm. and it was something that women just had to kind of deal with and men as well. Yeah. Um, but obviously, more women face it, so I mm -hmm. think the fact that one one woman has come out and said it. Yeah give support and encouragement for other women to be like, actually, yeah. hang on, he's a celebrity, he did the same thing to me. Oh, hang mm -hmm. on, he did the same thing to me. Yeah. So whether or not we find it irrelevant or yeah. whether or not like it looks like why have you waited so long, mm -hmm. it's the fact that they've been given the platform to now say, actually, I'm going to call that out because it's wrong. Mm -hmm. So what they're doing is actually setting the stage for the future. So yeah. now when men do do that, they think twice before yes, doing it now. Yeah. And that's, I think that's the real real story there. And mm -hmm. she even said it like, what motivated her to come out to say it now mm -hmm. was the Me Too movement after Hollywood A-listers have been taken down, such as Abby Weinstein, um, mm -hmm. um, Bill Cosby, and that was what motivated her to come out now. So mm. I think she's just getting gingered mm -hmm. by yeah. all and then the what, women. What was also interesting is the fact that apparently when she said no, um, one of um, Jamie Foxx's friends um, said, you know, that she was well, I think she was bounced off the, the party, basically. Yeah, I basically. told her to leave. Yeah. But do you know the part that when they said she went to the hospital mm -hmm. because she was, um, well, what was the word? Was it traumatized or? Yes, traumatized. I couldn't even it? believe it. No. And then well, it wasn't it trauma? immediately. I don't think it was traumatized. It, well, I know it was along word. the line of trauma, yeah, but trauma. I just found that really bizarre. Like, yeah, but it was just funny, like. Well, well, I mean, we, you never know. You never, you never know, know what the kind people of have effect. different states. And also, of mind. like, I know I might be making excuses for her, and I don't know, but I'm just taking, giving her the benefit of the doubt that maybe she had some sort of traumatic experience in the past, and that reminded yeah, her. Yeah, and that. yeah, and maybe that's why. That's she, why I said different people have different states of mind. So, or what somebody else she just wanted to milk the whole situation and make it a bigger deal. Yeah, yeah. it's either. All right, before we round up, just one quick question: How do we think Kate is going to react to this? Well, she probably. Oh, that's a good question. Yes, that's because I'm question. like, this is the, these are the people that. Yeah, supposedly getting well, married. Well, I mean, too. she probably has been through the system, knows how it works. I mean, mm -hmm. she's part of Hollywood, knows mm -hmm. the whole Harvey Weinstein kind of environment. Yeah. So she probably will give him the benefit of the doubt. All righty. Before we take our next story, we'll take a quick break and we'll be right back.
It is not yet over. The Get to Latin Millions promo is still on. 110 people have won up to 65 million Naira already. And you can be one of them as there is 31 million Naira still available to be won. You stand a chance to become a millionaire. All you have to do is walk into a Fidelity Bank near you and open an account with 10,000 Naira or pay in 10,000 Naira to your already existing account and you stand a chance to win 1 million, 2 million and 3 million Naira in the monthly draw. Draw your account to 50,000 Naira and stand a chance to win up to 5 million Naira. That's not all. Lots of consolation prizes like refrigerators and generators to be won. Rush now to the Fidelity Bank near you and start saving for a chance to become a millionaire. And the Fidelity gets a lot in millions promo. We're Fidelity. We keep our word. I don't get a lot. God do it. Welcome back, you're watching Tea Time and our next story is on Don Jazzy who has given half a million naira towards the education of a five-year-old boy. So why this boy of all boys in the neighbourhood or in the, in the state? Well, Don Jazzy is actually quite a charitable person. He does do yeah. um, a lot of charitable activities. Yeah, it's not is. the first time he's given money out. He's given out to people that were ill, that need donations. He's mm -hmm. done um, social media competitions where he... There was a point that he was just giving out credit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At one point, so he, I think he does it at random, but he's usually like, he usually has these phases where he just goes on a charitable spree, which is lovely, and mm -hmm. he sets a really nice example. Yeah. Um, if I, what's your reaction about this? No, I was just, uh, I wasn't so surprised because Don Jazzy has done similar mm -hmm. stuff in the past. Okay. So I just figured, and then this time around, you know, for a five year old boy that needed to go to school, you know, I just felt this was very charitable and it was a good step mm -hmm. for other artists to emulate and okay. try to do other stuff. Um, David O already pleaded with other artists to try to help because okay. they have money during the Eddie's Award, yeah, you guys yeah, remember? Yeah. So I think this is just like Don Jazzy listening to David O, even though yeah. he hasn't doing it, at least he's listening to David O mm -hmm. and then he's showing example to yeah. other people being the OG that he's supposed to be, <laughs> you get me? David yeah. O, yeah, if you're watching, mm -hmm. please employ Ife onto your PR team. <laughs> <laughs> he gives you free PR every single time. I don't know how you managed to find the link between Don Jazzy and David. You think Don Jazzy really listened to what David O had to say on the Oh, yeah, definitely. I and he's taking it on board. Are you serious? Yeah. Because I thought you were joking for a moment. There. No, he's being no, serious. No, I'm That's being serious because David O actually said it a few months ago and then So you think that David O prompted Don Jazzy? No, that's why I say, although he has been mm -hmm. doing stuff like that He's in the past. He's been doing it for a very long time. But now, David O said it, and then Don Jazza did it. But it's not like Don Jazza did like, it the next day. He did it how many months later? Yeah, but it's still, I still remember the story, don't you? Because you worked on it, not because you actually listened and was like, hmm, two no, months later. No, because I listened, and I felt David O was making a lot of sense. And many thanks yeah. to your loyalties to yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, David O, David, employ this guy David, to your David, PR team. Big <laughs> shout out to you. <laughs> but um, I don't know how true this is, but I hear yeah, um, it's not just Don Jazzy though, that some other people have actually made donations already. How true? Do you know anything about that? To, to the little boy? Yes. Yes, I, I don't know about donations, but I know they commented and they were actually in search when Don Jazzy was looking for how to find the boy. You know the story of the boy? No. You don't know the boy's story. Well, the young boy, the one yeah. that he gave the money yeah. to. Yeah, no. you don't know his story. You tell know us, his tell story, us, right? Tell, tell us. us. No, it's not about telling you. You guys need to go and be doing your research. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> tell us, though. Tell nice. us. All right, okay. This boy needed to... I think it was, um, it was a viral video that got leaked. Huh? And when the... Please, can we... He's milking this story. Yeah, no, he's he's loving it. Go on. No, no. Look. <laughs> yes. This boy couldn't speak proper English, mm -hmm. and then they asked him what he wanted, and he said he wanted to go to school. school. Do you understand? That's so touching for a five-year-old boy. Mm -hmm. It is say, touching, but yeah. do you know why it's really touching as well? Because there was the other boy that they asked. Um, mm -hmm. Do you know about that boy? The boy that they asked? Yes, that, the other boy that they asked. Yeah, do you know about that? You know about that? Oh, you don't? I'll tell you. Okay, we'll tell you. Um, okay. so, I, I need to do my research. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, there was another boy that they asked. Um, Lapsy, I think I'm going to do this, in, even if it's on air. <laughs> um, so basically, there was another boy that... So was, I don't get no high five? No. All right, low. No. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so there was another boy that they asked, and they asked him, what do you want to be when you're older in Yoruba? The, the conversation was in Yoruba. And he basically said that he wants to be a 419 
when he's older because that's what wow. he sees around him. Do you not remember that little boy no, in never, the window never. of the car? No, never. <laughs> anyway, he said in Yoruba that he just wants to grow up to be a fraudster. He wants to do like wire, wire and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so that's uh, like, it's a con nice contrast to see that another yeah, young yeah. boy saying he actually wants to go to school. Because that video went viral and everybody was like, wow, like how could... He say that's, that's what, what he, wants he to sees be. around. Yeah, him. yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's I just think like this video was really touching. Like a five-year-old boy knowing the importance of education. education. Do you understand? So, and then Don Jazzy just it was just like, oh, he needs to find this boy. He posted the boy's picture on his Instagram page. Like, if you know how, we can contact him. Mm -hmm. And then his PR team, they were out there already searching for this boy. And then they posted another picture, a group picture that when they found the boy, like, okay, we finally found him. And I just felt nice. This is so. Yeah, that is And then amazing. there was a conversation between, I think maybe the boys, Guidian or something, and Don Jazzy, when he was saying he was going to donate 500,000 Naira. And yeah, I just think, thumbs up, Don Jazzy. Don Babaji. Does anyone know Don Jazzy personally? No. And if we did, if why? I... No, but I know the band. <laughs> yes. We're talking about Don Jazzy. Yeah. Because what, the reason why I ask is, you know, I just wanted to confirm if um, he's actually... Um, a generous person at heart, or if he does it, you know, for of course, it's very generous. Even no, we know of all of his record. charitable deeds, but what I'm saying is that is it really yes, true? Even, is it even really just from his record. you know playing up to the camera and playing up no. to, to, to the press? Even judging from his record label, look at the people he works with. It's with Ricardo Banks, is with um, Corey De Bello, Deja. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Like those people were like grassroots artists. It, mm -hmm. they, it wasn't like they've been doing. Anything major. Okay, Don maybe Jazzy. Corrado Villa and Ricardo Banks, but Deja wasn't. She yeah. yeah, no, Deja was grassroots. Trust no, she me. wasn't. No, she wasn't. Though. She was famous in America. I mean, in Canada before. Oh, I'm talking about Nigeria. All okay. this international. But, she's not, people. but you can't call someone down. grassroots if they were famous internationally before. No, she wasn't that famous. What about Tiwa Savage? Tiwa Savage used to write. She used to do backup singing for singing. Mary yeah. J. Blige. Yeah. Don't yeah. ever yeah. get it twisted. And she's written for Beyonce. That's a big deal. Yeah, that's, that's why you I'm can saying. come back to Nigeria and blow. You can't just say that. Yes, that is exactly what I'm saying. So, Who did DJ do backup for in Canada? What do you mean? DJ was famous in Canada. On and her she own. She didn't yeah, have to do backup singing have, for yeah, anyone I agree, but you can't compare how big DJ was in Canada to how big she became in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? That's not the point. You said she's a grass. Oh, yeah, before we digress onto DJ, we're music. talking about Don Jazzy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gen Don Jazzy. Back to Don Jazzy's generosity. All right, so yeah. back to Don Jazzy. You can just tell from the people he has around him and from the way he relates with all of them. Have you seen Don Jazzy in the studio? He's always dropping one video or the other about out there chilling in the studio, you know that like, he's not the bossy kind of boss. Mm -hmm. that, you get, that doesn't always... answer whether or not he's a generous person. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like from the people he has around him, you can tell from yeah. their loyalty to him oh, and right. from the things nice he person. has been doing for them, like okay. getting them cars, getting them houses. You don't see anybody coming out like, we want to sue on Jazzy. He's not mm -hmm. greedy. He's giving yeah. them good deals, good offers, and they're going along with him. All right, so there, I'll take, your, I'll take your word for it. Thank you. Don Jazzy, employ him. <laughs> get him on your PR. Oh, Lord. Are All right, the next uh, major headline is that uh, Donald Trump hits back at punchy Robert De Niro after Tony Awards insult. So what did he say, Ife? Wow. Oh, he, but I'll tell you, because since you don't know. I know. Basically. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, don't start. Are we gonna... <laughs> OK, all right, I'll let the lady do uh -huh. it. So basically, Robert De Niro basically called Trump the F word um, and then um, at the Tony Awards. And Trump, obviously, in Trump style, clapped mm -hmm. back and said that Robert De Niro's had too many punches to It's like head. he couldn't yeah. even wait to clap back. I'm like, is he, he just waiting for the next him. thing? He just, he just left him. Like, oh. he was on his way back from yeah, saying and he was like, he couldn't discussing even... very serious issues. And then the next thing, you didn't even tweet about your meeting with Kim first. Trump the first thing was to go attack Robert De Niro. And I'm like, why on earth is Trump <laughs> like this, though? Because <laughs> every, he's, he's such a, I think, well. He's such a character, man. He, he is. And I think he's the. Talking about Kim, I, didn't, I don't mean Kim Kadai people I'm talking oh. about. Oh. <laughs> no, disclaimer. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think with Trump, that's like it's weird because he's like must. Is it mustard? Yeah, marmite. Mustard. Marmite. Marmite. Yeah. You either love you, him or you hate or you him. Because yeah. I think he's one of those people that that could be really funny. Like on your way back from like one of the like, most historic meetings Meeting, ever, yeah. you have time to clap back at Robert De Niro because he called you a mm -hmm. whatever he called him. Yeah. 
And I he think, really went I'm, in. He really, really shaded him. Like, yeah, he said he's had too many punches to the head, head. by real life boxers, boxers. Mm -hmm. oh. in, in movies. What do you he think? said he's drunk. He's yeah. punch, punch drunk. drunk. Yeah. <laughs> but what do you think would happen if both of them met coincidentally? Mm. Do you think I they'll don't. be polite, or do you think it will start all over no, again? No, I think Robert De Niro might not be polite. Yeah, because Robert yeah. De Niro is um, is a typical Italian. American. It's Italian American. American, but it's more like a mafia. How do you know that? Cult. I know a lot of things. Being wow, yeah. you've just called Robert De Niro um, an American Italian. That's why I said in cult. So you're just being like a stereo you're uh, stereotyping. Mafia. You're stereotyping. Like. So imagine, you know, imagine you know if you went means? to America, right? This, I'm not calling you when I do this. Quote, I'm, unquote. I'm doing it. I know. <laughs> yeah. I don't agree. That's like someone saying that you're like a 419 guy. Yeah, so that, that would like be tantamount to slander. Like, so yeah. if Robert De Niro was listening okay. now, what I mean, all now? American Italians are mafias, like a mafia. <laughs> no, but you can tell <laughs> from, you can tell from his quote. demeanor oh. and from the type of movies he acts mm -hmm. and um, the way Generally, everybody says this about Robert De Niro and this other guy. Well, what's his name? Sometimes even Robert De Niro do, and um, yeah. what's the other guy's name? Um, Al, pa Al Pacino. Pacino. Yeah, okay. they say that about the book. Yeah, but the thing is, the if, even if everyone says it, it might not necessarily be true. That is why it's in cool. Why, oh, why are you guys attacking me, man? I'm just a messenger, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh. So back to Trump, though, should he have reacted as the president of, a, of the United States? Yeah, I mean, if it was a normal president of the United States, no, but Trump is not normal. And we've seen him do yeah. this several and times. And then considering the fact that he has his own Twitter library now, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking like... It and just, you know, he's still... Just want he's the only president of America to actually what, like use... His, they've given him his tw the Twitter account. Yeah. So it's not like the press team tweet for him like yeah, everybody else. Yeah. He actually uses, uses it himself. Yeah. yeah. He's not. You know what? You know, um, it was um, Robert De Niro who started, and then, um, uh, uh, what's his name? President Trump reacted. Do you think that Robert De Niro will come back, will, will have a comeback? No. Yeah? Um, it's not but, worth but it. this is not the first time Robert De Niro has said negative stuff about Donald Trump. He is an anti Trump. So do you think he will come back then? Yeah, it would definitely come back. All right, still to come on Tea got... Time, we've got Scoop on the actor popularly known as Ijebu and uh, Louis Fonsi. That's all coming up right after this break. You know, from day one, Globe makes life easier. They brought us unbelievable data packages and even an optic fiber cable to make sure we optimize. There are two things in our lives we depend on the communication and information, voice and data. Whether you sell, buy, learn, teach, serve, or lead, it really comes out to those two things, voice and data. Today's world is all about you. You want what you want, how you want it, and Glow delivers. That's why Glow is introducing Flex, the freedom to use voice and data the way you like on every recharge. No plan, no hassle, easy. Now on every recharge, Glow Flexi automatically gives the freedom to use voice and data as you like at the best rates in town. No plan, no hassle. The Grandmasters of Data. Glow. Welcome back to Tea Time, the program that gets you updated on all of the latest entertainment stories. Up next is the uh, headline that we have on the Yoruba actor, popularly known as Ijebu. Uh, he has escaped to death as there was a fire incident in his hotel room. Okay, so what happened, mm. Ife? Um, I think his, um, his AC got at fire in, um, okay. in his hotel room, and then he just posted a picture on his Instagram. Thanking God for his life. God you know that generic life. Nigerian thing to do when you have something wrong in with you? In his guest house. Mm -hmm. Was it his? But he didn't name the name of the hotel, though. No, yes, it, but it looks like a guest house. That's all. As far as oh. because I was going to ask you because you do have issues with the hotel yeah. or the guest house, as you say. Yeah, because when he said hotel, I was like, what hotel is? This. Mm -hmm. So good thing he didn't name me. It would have been very bad PR for that hotel because the hotel didn't look good. And I'm just thinking, okay, it could be one of these movie sets and then mm -hmm. the guest house that they've used. And then this I'm glad you say so because yeah. I honestly had a look and I was like, this is horrible. You, you should <laughs> yeah. even. I know he's thanking God for his life, but the hotel did not say yeah, well no, about it. Like, know. I, I wouldn't. I'm sorry, man, Jebu, but I won't sleep in the room. Yeah, and you should so be thanking God for for, his, <laughs> for saving you from life. sleeping in that, but that you didn't spend the night. 
Du fais. Wow. Like, like, what's what's your reaction fait. about this whole story? Um, I think it just shows <laughs> like how they need to up their health and safety mm -hmm. precautions here. Yeah. Because your AC shouldn't be gutting fire, especially not while you're in the room. Mm -hmm. um, and like, if he had died, it would have been a whole different story. Story, would true. Would there have been an inquiry? Mm -hmm. Would there have been an investigation into how he died? I don't mm -hmm. know, but it highlights the fact that there needs to be some sort of like health and safety yeah. precautions yeah. Um, yeah. and but, not just um, The, the hotel freak. management um, were very quick to yeah, help or the staff, quick, yeah. you know, because... Well, yeah. damn right, because <laughs> someone's about to die in your flipping <laughs> guest house. Is, is a celebrity, so they have to... Oh, have we go with the no, celebrity I don't status. think it has anything to do with his status. If whoever it was, they would have helped well, any guest. We don't know that, but I think they responded really fast because... Because he's a celebrity. Yeah. No, I don't think it that could has be that. To and do. it may not be that I'm just talking. No, but this is a case of life and death. And death People re yeah. respond and react instinctively, not because you're a celebrity. So I don't think that was. No, a I factor. get you what you're saying, but if that's probably saying because they knew he had lodged in, and okay, he's a familiar face. Depending oh, I on see. We were, okay. That they were and then, like I said, I think it's a guest house because okay. because of the look of the place, it mm -hmm. looks like a guest house. So it looks like a movie set, okay. or maybe a place. Maybe they went to shoot at a particular location and then they couldn't go back mm -hmm. and then they just said okay everybody let's stay here for a while and i think that was what happened okay so, yeah our final story on the afternoon edition of Tea Time is on Louis Fonsi and he has released a new music video titled Calypso featuring Stefan Don so Louis Fonsi, this was the person that uh, sang Despacito <laughs> oh. if, if that doesn't sing on any one of our shows, it's not if that Despacito Do you know a DJ got beaten up because he played that song 15 times over? Really? And also the lyrics of that song are really spicy okay. They actually got back, yeah So yeah. well, you couldn't even sing it right now? Yeah, because I know what it means in English, but he's singing in Spanish. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's sing it again. Don't come for me. Despacito. But even people were going, you know, <laughs> crazy about, you know, even just the title. They were saying, you know, it's not appropriate, blah, blah, blah. I yeah, don't know if you they, heard that. I looked at the lyrics and mm -hmm. it's actually got, I think it got, that it got pulled off airplay in Spain for a yeah, while because the, because the lyrics are It was so sexually, sexually suggestive. Remote. Yeah, very yeah. suggestive. Yeah. Um, but he's now come back and I was, I'm so glad he's come back with this song because I actually mm -hmm. thought it was going to be a one hit wonder mm -hmm. um, and we were never going to hear from him again he does a kind of like spanish reggaeton that kind mm -hmm. of music which we haven't really heard in heard, a while. yeah so it's mm. quite um, creative and i yeah, think and he's it's actually catchy come, yeah and he's come out with steph london and calypso mm -hmm. which is really really nicely shot there seems to be like on a beach it's really kind exotic, of yeah, exotic kind of island Puerto Rico, so. yeah, yeah exactly but um with steph london she obviously does Jamaican, Jamaican kind of stuff, rap, yeah. but then she grew up in London. So, so it's what we we'll call an infusion. Yes, it is. It's a very nice melting pot of cultures that blend yeah. very well together. Yeah. Mm. Can, can we say that he seems to like um, collaborations? Because even Despacito, he, he collaborated with um, a few people. Didn't he, he do it with Justin Bieber? There was Just, a remix. Re yeah, yeah. yeah. Justin Bieber has another one with Pitbull. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so he seems to like collaborating. Well, to be fair, like I think a lot of the times reggaeton musicians, because it's, it's heavily in Spanish, they mm -hmm. tend to like collaborate with English so they could get both markets. Yeah. So if they, nice. Have you said anything about this? Your, oh, yeah. your take? I'm with because we've been talking about Despacito and not Calypso, the new song for a while. Well, we did discuss that. I don't think you guys are just so in love with that. So tell, talk to me about Calypso then. Yeah, the video was shot in Puerto Rico. It was shot on an island and mm -hmm. it was a very beautiful location. You can tell from the settings they had very beautiful girls in the video. It looked very tropical beautiful girls that. video vixens which of course video vixens to combo okay Puerto Rican girls are very beautiful by the way what are you saying about our nigerian girls oh beautiful african, present company african exempted queens. good answer <laughs> very good answer. african queens they are the queens trust me is good that answer. a good answer or a diplomatic them, I answer i would say i call them beautiful girls i call Ooh. nigerian girls beautiful Ooh. queens Ooh. They and are queens. <laughs> the fact that is not don't get me started you fair he's a queen <laughs> And that brings us to the end of this edition of Tea Time. Join us tomorrow for another really good episode. My thanks as always go to my co-anchors and the entire production team. Until next time, I'm Takumbo Tairo saying have a good afternoon.